In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Today we celebrate the feast of the baptism of the Lord, and we conclude our Christmas celebration. And so let us acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. You come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. You will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Now, mighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. You alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who, when Christ has been baptized in the river Jordan, and as the Holy Spirit descended upon him, solemnly declared him your beloved Son, grant that your children by adoption, reborn of water and the Holy Spirit, may always be well-pleasing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Here is my servant who I uphold, my chosen one with whom I am pleased, upon whom I have put my spirit. He shall bring forth justice to the nations, not crying out, not shouting, not making his voice heard in the street. A bruised reed he shall not break, and a smoldering wick he shall not quench, until he establishes justice on the earth. The coastlands will wait for his teaching. I, the Lord, have called you for the victory of justice. I have grasped you by the hand. I formed you and set you as a covenant of the people, a light for the nations, to open the eyes of the blind, to bring out prisoners from confinement and from the dungeon, those who live in darkness. The word of the Lord. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter proceeded to speak to those gathered in the house of Cornelius, saying, In truth, 
I see that God shows no partiality. Rather, in every nation, whoever fears him and acts uprightly is acceptable to him. You know the word that he sent to the Israelites as he proclaimed peace through Jesus Christ, who is Lord of all. What has happened all over Judea, beginning in Galilee after the baptism that John preached, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power. He went about doing good and healing all those oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus came from Galilee to John at the Jordan to be baptized by him. John tried to prevent him, saying, I need to be baptized by you, and yet you are coming to me. Jesus said to him in reply, Allow it now, for thus it is fitting for us to fulfill all righteousness. Then he allowed him. After Jesus was baptized, he came up from the water, and behold, the heavens were opened for him, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and coming upon him. And a voice came from the heavens, saying, This is my beloved Son with whom I am well pleased. The Gospel of the Lord. Well, today as we celebrate this Feast of the Baptism of the Lord and conclude our wonderful celebration of Christmas, I was kind of really thinking about John the Baptist there at the Jordan. And here he is, you know, fulfilling his call of prophecy, all that we had heard about during Advent of making straight the ways of the Lord, and Jesus appears. And John recognizes him. John sees who it is that's coming to him and knows that he isn't supposed to baptize him. He's the one he's been waiting for. He's the one he's been preparing everything for. But Jesus says to him, let it be. Do this. And in that We can fulfill all righteousness, but more importantly, to really make that revelation to others about who Jesus is. How often have we kind of been John the Baptist, reluctant to do something, even though we know it's the right thing to do. And it takes somebody to kind of push us along, to kind of say, you need to do this. And when we do finally take that step, when we do allow it, how wonderful things and wonderful blessings can happen for us. John the Baptist, as he allows Jesus to be baptized, then truly gets the revelation of who Jesus is when he sees the heavens opened and that spirit come down. And so it inspires us at times throughout our life to do the things that maybe we don't want to do, to know the things that sometimes we need to push to get done. And when we do them, how blessed we will be for fulfilling and allowing it to happen. The Profession of Faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, 
Through him all things are made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Made children of God by baptism, we raise up our prayers in confidence. For the church, like her Lord, the beloved of the Father, that his favor may always rest upon her and his spirit overshadow her with truth and power, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those entrusted with the work of the government, that they may serve the cause of right and try to strive to establish true justice on earth, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have become lukewarm in their faith, that they spirit given in their baptism will rekindle faith and love in their hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For ourselves, that we may eagerly follow Christ's call at our baptism and establish true justice on earth. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the faithful departed, whose memory we recall, that the power of God's grace may bring them to the fullness of glory. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty Father, by our baptism, you adopted us as your sons and daughters. Hear our prayers through that favor which rests on your beloved Son, who is Lord forever and ever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, the offerings we have brought to honor the revealing of your beloved Son, so that the oblation of your faithful may be transformed in the sacrifice of him who willed in his compassion to wash away the sins of the world, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For in the waters of the Jordan, you revealed with signs and wonders a new baptism so that through the voice that came down from heaven we might come to believe in your word dwelling among us. And by the Spirit's descending in the likeness of a dove, 
we might know that Christ, your servant, has been anointed with the oil of gladness and sent to bring the good news to the poor. And so, with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty, without end, we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial, of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world, be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Douglas, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children, 
scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There, we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that, by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Accept, O Lord, the offerings we have brought to honor the revealing of your beloved Son, so that obtaining of the faithful may be transformed into the sacrifice of him who willed his compassion to wash away the sins of the world, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.